Good afternoon students. Um, today's lesson we're going to look at creating a clipping mask um, to try and follow convention for some movie posters. Um, you'll see this technique that's used quite frequently in media texts and it's relatively simple so we're going to learn how to create something very similar to this. Um, first thing we need to do then is open up Photoshop Um, a new document and we're going to use it at 30 inches wide, 20 inches high um, and then you would just give it a name, film poster and then OK. Here we have our document. The first thing that I always do is unlock um, this background layer. So just drag that little lock that was next to it straight into the bin down there. And I always like to colour the background as well to see what I can start working with from there. So I'm going to go onto the paint bucket tool. Clearly see that it's black there. And I've got a black background for now. Okay, as I say, we're going to try and follow convention a little bit and use um, the clipping mask for this. So I need a picture of that appears to be a city that's placed behind it. So I'm going to try and find a picture of a city. Luckily, I've already found one previously, and I'm going to use this, New York Skyline. All I'm going to do is literally drag that image straight into the Photoshop document, and I'm going to press Command-T to resize. Hold down the Shift key when you resize it, otherwise it will warp. So make sure you've got your hand down on Shift as you're resizing from the diagonals. And there we've got our image. Press enter. A nice clear image of New York skyline. Okay, if we look back to the image, let's see where the text is being placed. Okay, relatively central. We're going to go with that. So next thing to do then is use the text tool, horizontal type tool there. And mine's already set at 200. You're probably going to need to change yours. Mine's at 200 there. Um, and I've already got it set at Arial and in bold. You may need to tweak that, but for me, Arial bold is quite suitable for um, this particular movie poster. So I'm going to write in black the Hangover Part 3. There we have that. If we just quickly look, we see that the spacing is quite tight between the letters. Um, the words are quite close together, so we're going to have to change that in ours. So, to do that, we simply go up to this one here, and we click on that, toggle the character and paragraph panels, click on it, and this appears. This little feature here is the distance between um, the words there, and this one is the distance between letters. So, if we highlight it, and we're going to change that distance to, for mine, I'm going to change it personally for about 300. Oh no, sorry, I need to make it a bit smaller. Change it to 200. Look again, 150. 150 seems to work quite well. And I'm also going to change how close they are as well. So the, currently on minus 50. See what minus 75 looks like. Okay, that looks good as well. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Perhaps it, well, mine may need to go a little bit bigger actually, which means I probably have to change that first bit as well. Let's go all the way to 300. That's 300, okay. I'm going to change that back to 200. Let's see what 200 looks like again. Okay, maybe a little bit more, 220. Yeah, that looks okay. And I think the width is probably fine as well. Okay, so I'm happy with the text. I'm happy with the way that looks. We now need to create a clipping mask. So we need to effectively cut out this image here in the background to reveal the text underneath. So to do that, we need to swap the layers around. We click on layer one where the image is and we drag it above the text. And as you can see, the text disappears, and it's literally behind this image. We're now going to cut a hole in that and reveal the text. So to do that, we go layer, 
create clipping mask and we're left with this. We can now, if we wanted to, using the move tool, move the image in the background or if we click on the hangover where the text is written, we can move that around suitably as well. So I'm going to place it somewhere in the center about there. I'm quite happy with that. If we just look back at our original image, we see that there's like a little glow on the outside, like a kind of golden glow. So to achieve that, all we're going to do is double click on the text and we have these options here. And I'm going to click on outer glow. And there you go. I've got a white outer glow on that piece of text. If I wanted to double click on this, I can choose the color of glow. So I could choose it to be red if I wanted to, or white or pink or whatever I need it to be. Um, I'm going to select a kind of yellowish color to try and follow the conventions that's being used. OK. I can change the spread of that if I wanted to, or the size of it, such as that. I could make it softer or precise, whatever it needs to be. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm quite happy with that. If we look back to the original image, Hangover Part 3, we could do a little bit of tweaking of where the positioning of parts, Part 3 is placed, perhaps. But it relatively follows convention and it's a lovely little tool for you guys to have a little practice on. I would, Once you've completed this tutorial, I would like to try and create a film poster of your own, please. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.